The APNU is calling on the PPC to implement a serious security strategy. According to the APNU, the ruling party should stop misleading the public, fiddling with the police and playing with new labels. Instead, they should introduce, as a matter of urgency, a serious security strategy to protect our citizens. The partnership accuses the Minister of Home Affairs, Mr. Clement Ruhi, of deliberately avoiding references in his 31st of December 2012 press conference to the high rate of armed robberies. As you know, there are eight armed robberies per day in Guyana. To contraband smuggling, gun running, money laundering, narcotics trafficking, people trafficking, piracy and banditry which are plaguing the country. The minister's so-called plan failed to provide assurances that human safety will be enhanced and police conduct and performance will be improved. APNU demands that the Capitol Simmons report, which was handed over to Mr. Rohi 22 months ago in March 2011, and which now forms the basis of the new plan, be laid before the National Assembly. It should also be published in the media so that the public could read its contents and assess the relevance to crime, to crime fighting and the improvement of the efficiency and effectiveness of the Guyana police force. Opposition leader David Granger at the party's press briefing today said that Minister Clement Roy is deliberately avoiding references in his December 31st press conference to the high rate of criminal activities. On the part of APNU, we have not rejected security sector reforms. And if the report, as you put it, is seen to contain provisions which are supportable, we will support them. But Mr. Clement Rohi does not enjoy the confidence of the National Assembly since the end of July, and we will not support his implementation of any of those reforms. If another minister advances them, we will support the reforms, and we support the other minister. We are not going to support Mr. Clement Rohi. Is that clear? Because you see the questions keep coming, what are you doing? What is the government doing? If the government realizes that this one man is the stumbling block, a man not only that his peers have no confidence in, that the majority of the electorate, because APNU together with AFC, we represent the majority of the electorate. So the majority of the electorate is said to Mr. Rohi, through their representatives, we do not want you. You must go. And it is the government who must be seen as the body, the entity. If there's any delay, if there's any delay in, in the implementation of good plans, it must be the government, in our opinion, who must take full responsibility for any lapse between recommendations and implementation. It must be the government that must bear the full responsibility. The APNU point out that there has been no shortage of so-called plans for security sector reform by the PPC administration over the past 12 years. Reporting for Capital News, 